Hi there, in this video I'll be converting my DIY CNC machine into a vinyl cutting machine using a CB09 drag blade cutter from eBay and I will also use some leftover parts from my original Z-axis to make a slide to keep constant pressure on the blade. All of the parts I used to make the slide, some of which were left over from the old Z-axis. A short time lapse building the new slide assembly. This is the CB09 vinyl cutter I purchased from eBay. And this is a tiny drag blade with a 45 degree cutting angle. Place the drag blade backwards into the little bearing inside the CB09's casing. Followed by the even smaller spring over the blade and finally screw back on the black plastic cap. To set the depth that the blade will cut, wind it in all the way and then back out so you can just feel it, remembering that this is a knife and it can cut you. Next find a scrap of vinyl and cut a short line to check the depth. Have a look to check it has gone through the vinyl but not through the backing paper. Readjust and try again if it's not correct. That seems better. Uh. Next, the CB09 cutter needs to fit into its holder. This is a support bracket for a 16mm diameter linear rail and a spacer collet made from a 1mm thick piece of yellow plastic sheet. This was a tight fit. Fitting it onto the slide. and making it level to the baseboard using a small parallel block of wood. Lifts up and returns down using only gravity. And let it run the shape you want it to cut out. To make this program I used F engrave to make some text into G code. Speed it up four times. Now it's finished, let's see what it has produced.
Cut out the bit we want using a sharp knife. And peel off the waste vinyl which we don't want, leaving only the vinyl that we do. Now we need to add a transfer sheet, or in this case, some masking tape from the pound shop. We can then carefully peel away the backing paper. Ah, a tin of tea bags. Next, stick the vinyl and masking tape onto the tin. and rub it down well. Before removing the masking tape. finished design. We need to check that the tin still works. Yeah, seems fine to me. If you made it this far, well done. Please like and subscribe or have a look at my website for further information on this and other projects and I will catch you in my next video.